Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a early Lego Mickey and Friends set review. Today we are looking at the brand new Disney set, which is set number 10774, and this is the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse Space Rocket. And this actually is a 4 plus set, it has 88 pieces and will be retailing for $19.99 USD or $24.99 Canadian, beginning on August the 1st here in North America, and then June 1st for the rest of the world. And thank you so much to Jedi News, who was actually able to send this to me early. He lives in the UK, and he was the one that found the Avengers sets very early, and I was able to have him send these over. So you can check him out, link down below. And I actually really love this set, and it wasn't until I started putting this together for the review that I'm like, Oh, that's what everyone's talking about with the Among Us ship. I I see it now. <laughs> uh, but this is a really cute set. I think that uh, there are a ton of big pieces in here. And you have to remember for the price as well. So you're getting two pretty big names in a $20 set. And a ton of new pieces and big pieces. So I don't really see the issue here. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. So let's start with the name of the set, and that is the Space Rocket, and here it is. And like I said before, it definitely looks like an Among Us little, little guy. I definitely see that now, um, but it's very interesting. I love the little hidden Mickey there, and that is a 2x2 two two print there, which looks really neat. And this is also printed onto the top part here of the rocket. I also feel like they can easily make a Toy Story set here with the Pizza Planet rocket there. Look at that. I, I really want more Toy Story sets if, if you can't tell. Uh, that's where my mind goes to, but... It looks really neat. You've got a little alien, which you'll see in a second what they actually look like, uh, the colors and all that, but you can see a bit into the cockpit. You don't see Mickey or Minnie or anything like that, but in the back here, you do have these thrusters, and you can actually spin them, and the only complaint that I have about this set is, depending on how you put it, it will actually constantly fall over, so you gotta, gotta put the thrusters sometimes in a specific way to prevent it from falling over, but just the easiest little slight touch, it'll fall, so I think that it definitely needed one of the red pieces here in the back, but I get why they didn't include that, because they want you to be able to put the ship down like this, and very easily remove the top part, and that's what that looks like there. And here is the inside section, and I guess it Let's you put the figures in loosely. Uh, not too sure or not too happy about that particularly because if you were to put them inside the rocket, they're they're going to go flying. Um, but you can do that if you wanted to. They just sit in there very loosely. There's no way to actually attach them there. But uh, a couple of things in here that you've got going on. You have the new 1x2 tile updated there, which was like a remote and different things like that in the past. So that's been updated, I think, in 2021. We've got a new dial there, which looks really neat on two cheese slopes. A hot dog. I feel like that's turning into the fire extinguisher for these sets. And then we've also got here a coffee mug in yellow. But I think in the back, what you're meant to do here is you take the little alien and you put him inside there as well. So you can take everybody and uh, close them on up. But uh, they're going to be loose in their rocket ship. So let's see the massacre when we open it up. They've gone flying, um, except for the alien, because he actually has some jumpers to sit in. So not quite sure why they chose to do that. And here is like their little moon base, and it looks really neat. I guess not the moon since there's aliens, or maybe there are aliens. But um, anyways, we've got a little satellite this year that can spin around completely. You've got this giant 1x6 print there of a couple of the aliens next to like this rock crystal that you'll see in a second. And then you've got the hidden Mickey there as well, which if you haven't seen what that actually looks looks like it is this modified two by two round brick and it's also only like two studs tall as well but uh it actually looks amazing i really love that and uh this piece here in sand blue looks really neat as well you do have this little like incubation chamber there where you've got them studying one of the alien crystals and uh, you do get a second one in the set and you'll see that in a second but uh, that is what it looks like from the back not as impressive i think as the front here 
So here is one of the side builds, and this is actually a, a rock that's been around for ages, and I don't know when the last time was that we got it, but in trans green here, it's really neat. It would be great for like crypt kryptonite as well, which these crystals have been used for anyways, so that's really neat that you do get a second crystal inside. And what you can also do is you could take the alien and put the little guy inside the crystal if you wanted to, and uh, they have you doing that on one of the pictures online. So yeah, look at him in there. He fits perfectly inside, he's loose, but uh, really, really neat. And then you do have this other side build there of like a flag. Now I wish that there was actually some sort of print on there for like a, a Mickey Mouse symbol or something like that. I don't know why they didn't do that, it's just, it's just plain. So here is Mickey Mouse in his astronaut gear. Now that is the exact same prints there and everything like that that you'll see on Mini. So don't worry if you can't see it just yet. But uh, the head itself is really neat. I believe that it's actually here if we lift this up. You can see that it's actually dual molded just like the regular heads. But instead of it being black, it's dual molded white. And then I guess uh, the ears there are also. So it's triple molded, which is even better. Uh, but I really love this. It looks neat. I like the way that they have have like the trim there in silver that looks really really cool and uh, the back here on the torso has a little hidden Mickey symbol there and then you've got like a breathing thing on the back as well which is really neat and he does come with a camera to document their exploration and here is Minnie Mouse and look at the leg printing there it's really neat you've got just like they got feet printing which is just amazing in a 4 plus set she does have like this Thing to scan the ground there and just like her regular uh, other minifigures she does have a spot there at the top to put her bow into the Mickey and Minnie Mouse headpiece there the difference between the two of them for printing is the eyelashes and on the back exact same torso printing and here's the little alien and I love the face there printed onto this dome piece and you've got uh, these teeth pieces there and the bright green there and I love how just like the spots and everything go around the whole head well there you have it everyone that is my review of the upcoming Lego Disney Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse's Space Rocket. And I think that the price might deter some people, but honestly, 20 doesn't seem that far-fetched for what you're getting in here. Again, I gotta hit you over the head with this. You're getting huge pieces in here. You're getting these iconic characters. And there's a ton of new prints in here as well. There are so many pieces included. And it's just so phenomenal. I really am enjoying this theme. And I'm so excited for its future and what they're going to do next with this. I like the idea that it is Mickey in all these sets, or most of them. And he does have someone else alongside him. And I just think that the more and more themes that they can go through, so many just other themes and environments that I'd love to see Mickey and his friends just have fun in and I think that this is a great way for you to introduce people into Lego through the 4 plus genre as well as introducing them through Mickey Mouse as well but but anyways everyone I'm gonna try my best to get my hands on the other three sets that I do not have for this theme so that we could take a look at all the figures or something like that and I'm just enjoying the theme and I can't wait for those to come out later on next week and if you are interested in that I do got a playlist here at the end if you want to check out a playlist that I'm gonna be adding to and I've already got a review of the fire station if you want to check that out linked at the end here as well with the first ever Pluto minifigure but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.